Hey guys, CC here from the Christian Gaming Channel, bringing you another episode of Mario Kart 8 Wii U. And today we're going to be, go we're going to be playing through the Flower Cup. There we go. And as DK in the Tanuki Kart. I don't know, I thought it felt right. It's kind of like uh, DK's uh, Jeep from Mario Kart DS. It's fitting. Now, I'm not used to playing this high of a weight character, so it's going to be interesting for me. That lack of acceleration is going to be a pain I'm going to guess already. But I took out. Never mind, I didn't take out. Did you take me out? I might have thrown a man at me. Possibly. This isn't really one of my... Try that again. This isn't one of my favorite Mario circuits, that's for certain. It's not very interesting. I mean, it looks nice, just not very interesting to play. Also, how am I lagging behind? That was unfortunate. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting track visually. It's just kind of dual to play on. It's just a giant figure eight. Okay. I'll take the red shell just disappearing. Uh, hold out the turbo for that. There we go. Avoid the Goomba and scare the birds off. That's not part of the checklist, but that was inevitable. Well, I can hold, hold on to this green shell. Pretty quick. Well, I'm still holding on to the green shell. So, the mission is still there. That power plant just disappeared. Into the pipe. I didn't know I didn't know they do that. Huh. Yeah, the cart kinda looks like it has a nose. That might just be me, I'm not sure. But it definitely looks like it has a nose. Anyways, I'll see you in the next race. That was a long load. Then again, this is a really nice looking track, so I imagine it takes a bit longer to load. Especially off a thumb drive. You know, whenever they make a, a new Mario Kart, I hope they bring this track back. It'd be awesome to see. And a deluxe does not count because it's support. That was a really good shot. Wow. Let's see, can I him from here? Yes, I can. Awesome. Drop this right about here and hit it. Hit it. Put my coin reserve almost at 10. Need one more. There we go. I'm surprised they don't have a difficulty selector for the um, Grand Prix mode cups. I, mean, I don't think easy mode should be allowed. Make it too easy, but I have like a hard, not very hard mode. 
offer a little bit more challenge. I think that's fun. Managed to miss all of the turbos. Eh, it's not the end of the world. I got speed stat on my side. I, I said speed stat. That's embarrassing. Okay. about right before he's got a banana so I don't have to worry about him too terribly much especially if I can just take it out there we go now he's a bit more vulnerable So I can get a mini turbo going. There we go. Made some mistakes early on, but definitely came back on that one. Next race. Mm, not my favorite. I don't particularly care for these types of tracks. Too gloomy. I didn't spin off him. I wonder how that happened. Uh, can I get a repeat on that item? No, I can't. That can be terrible. Hmm. I'll hold it till the next item. Not exactly what I would like. I'd like a green shell just in case I need to throw it forward, but this will act as a good defense as well. Honestly, I can't really say too much about this track. It's just not exactly the most uh, pleasing looking in my opinion. It's very, like I said earlier, gloomy, but lots of brown and other colors that just aren't really pleasing in my opinion. Donut Plains has better colors, in my opinion, because it's just more natural and brighter. That's just my thoughts on it anyway. This seems to be just a nice drive this time around. The CPUs are so far behind. Third place has a star, which is kind of crazy. Are they really that far back? I don't want to hold L anymore. Here's a good question though. How many of you guys actually use the D-pad or the analog stick for racing? Personally, whenever I can, I'll use the uh, D-pad myself. I like the quicker reaction time it gives me. But uh, I do know that analog gives you technically more fine grain controls, but has that ever really helped in Mario Kart? Is my question. It's one thing that bothers me about Mario Kart 64 and Double Dash. And Mario Kart 7. And Mario Kart Wii. You can't use a D-pad. It's the most frustrating thing. Like, not everybody wants to drive with an analog stick. The travel time is just so long compared to a D-pad. Ridiculous. And yes, I know I just talked through the loading screen, so... You guys aren't, are going to end up seeing it. Thankfully, it wasn't too terribly long. Anyhow, Shy Guy Falls. I actually really like this track. It's 
It's got a nice layout, it's aesthetically interesting, and the music is great too. It's like you're going on an adventure through, like, I don't know, South American mo uh, mountains or something like that. I could have had that. The game didn't want to give it to me, though. Oh, well. Won't be the first time we've won on skill. And it won't be the first time I got shot out of the air. Managed to off-road that kind of nicely. Almost catching up. Hey, what are you doing? That banana just went off in the space. Oh, that's how you want to play, huh? Koda, you messed up my plans. Points. No layers. Why did I think they were items so good? Let it rip. Oh, come on. Why oh, you gotta do this to me, game? I was complimenting your trick. Then you have to go and do this. Okay, this isn't awful. Also, help me through the waterfall section. And get through there. Because that was kind of scary. I have not seen a blue shell at all this entire cup. Which is kind of surprising, honestly. Is that sur- okay, it is survivable. I think we're gonna end up getting second place, which is fine, I think. Because I think I've three star at this cup already, so. Please don't. Oh, oh. oh boy, that was close. Three points shy. Bit of a shame, but hey, we made it. At least they showed the best track. Victory has been had. Well, that's the flower cup, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye!